37 balmy degrees mm -hmm. after we've been stuck in the 30s for over a week for now. Days. So this seems great, but the rain's coming down. Yeah. The slush is there, mm -hmm. and that always causes concern about flooding. It really does, because you're going to have snow melting around here. We may see some urban flooding, in fact, tonight in the metro area, but then the streams and the rivers that all uh, just get the drainage from the Coast Range Mountains in particular, where we're going to see heavy rain. Uh, and, and on top of that, the snow melting there to cause problems and river rises. So we'll be watching that closely. But yeah, temperatures so cold lately. In fact, for the month of December so far, our average temperature has been 37 degrees. Typically, it's more like 41 degrees as we get this far into the month of December. So uh, it has been very chilly for us. And you can see temperatures topping out at 33 Thursday, 38 Friday, in the 30s through Sunday. And then today we see that big spike. And so that's thanks to the moisture moving in, a southerly wind that's going to continue to pick up tonight and continue to bring in the moisture and eventually the rain. Uh, as for the next five days, temperatures do go back down a little bit. So we're in the upper 40s for Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we're back to the lower 40s after that. But still Still, nothing nearly as chilly as what we have been dealing with. So milder weather on the way. 47 degrees right now. South winds coming in at 6, but winds will be increasing, especially as we head towards midnight. And we'll see those uh, winds increasing within the next couple of hours for coastal areas where we have wind warnings in effect tonight. Uh, rain already developing uh, up towards Tillamook and Astoria. All that's going to be spreading into the valley. So as we continue through the next hour to hour and a half, this is as we approach 830, uh, you can see the rain turning a little heavier for us. And so this is when we're we're going to have to start watching out for that potential for some urban flooding uh, in our roads. 1030 still dealing with uh, potentially uh, heavy rain in areas for the metro and the valley after midnight. Uh, it's still coming down and you can see anywhere you see those yellows and oranges. That's when it's coming down moderately heavy. So once it moves in, it'll have a tough time clearing out for a while and it'll stay wet all through the night and then really starts to taper off tomorrow morning. So that gives us uh, plenty of time to tap into that deep moisture to pick up perhaps an inch of rain in many areas across the metro in the valley and then some of the heavier spots of course could see an inch and a half to maybe even two inches so I think that may be a little tougher to come by. Two to three inches will be possible for the Coast Range Mountains and then for the Cascades we'll see snow levels going all the way up to 6,500 feet. We will finish off with a little dusting of snow in the back end of the system but unfortunately we're going to see some rain for the ski resorts too. Uh, your evening planner tonight 7 p.m. We just start to see the light rain settling in but by 9 o'clock it's heavy and wet. Temperatures stay steady in the mid 40s and by 11 o'clock those southwest winds picking up at 20 to even 30 miles an hour. So it'll be a breezy evening. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a few lingering showers early on, but it's mainly just going to be stray showers popping up as we go through the day. So much drier for your Tuesday. And by afternoon, we've cleared things out. Highs will be in the upper 40s, so another mild day temperature wise. And uh, we'll see dry conditions stick around through Wednesday. 43 in Kelso, 47 right now in Vancouver. We're at 50 in Cannon Beach, Central Oregon in the mid 30s, though this next system will be warm enough that we'll even see the potential for some rain. And Central and Eastern Oregon too, and perhaps a mix as you go up in elevation. For the valley, temperatures topping out for your Tuesday in the upper 40s to around 50 and then low 50s for coastal areas. Uh, here's a look at some of the warnings that are in place. And again, uh, this is for coastal areas. High wind tonight, 7 p.m., southwest winds 30 to 40, gusting between 55 and 65 miles an hour. High wind warnings in effect until 4 a.m. We did have avalanche warnings in effect for the Cascades, but those have now been dropped at this point as, again, we're gearing up for rain to move in instead of the snow. Seven-day forecast here, 49 on Tuesday, 47 Wednesday, and then it's back to the low 40s. All eyes on this weekend, of course, Christmas Eve on Saturday. Uh, we may see a chance for a few showers, but overall I think we'll see mainly dry conditions, 40 the high, and then highs in the upper 30s for Christmas Day, and we stay mainly dry. So temperatures start to take a dip again just in time for Christmas to arrive. And I see <laughs> on your list, your Christmas list, you want Santa to bring you a new weather clicker. A new weather clicker, always, because you're always trying to steal mine and <laughs> sabotage it. So I need a new one. Don't tell him that. Yeah, All you right. do. We'll be right back. <laughs> Be a good